4,000 years of clown college, and only one winner. Who will be the victor in this season of the Eternal Clown Games? It's not, 4,000 years is not literally eternal, but, you know, we've, we've, got, we've got to stop filming it. We've, we've got to end the competition and declare a winner at some point. So we're, we're just sort of giving them an idea of what eternity could look like. It's all smoke and mirrors, baby. It's uh, some of that funny mm, TV magic. Funny pizzazz. Ow, you poked me! You poked me with with one of the grippers that you pick litter up off the street with. How could you? How could you weaponize such an innocent thing? Why are you just now looking at your arm? It's really scrumbly. Maybe you got angry because of all the scrumbles. Where am I? Is everything else caved in? Good. Good, it makes it easier to know where I'm going. It makes it easier to know I sing in the snow. I think you'll think you'll think you'll think you're funny. It's my funniness song. I sing about how funny you are, and then you give me coins because you're so endeared by my, by my flattery and my compliments. That's right. That's right. All this time I just want your coins. Oh yeah. I can take or leave your comedy. In reality. Smiling faces, so no traces of the bastard who wants your coins. Bonuses? Bonuses upstairs, the screaming baby door, and it's just more sad. I think I've already got the blue orb bit that was up here, then they've not replaced it with another, have they? No. No, they wouldn't do that a second time bonus, have they? You'd have so many health. We have so many health every time, now it's you, you the ones I cut off at the beginning. We already know I can do you off. Oh, but you, you have flung something over my brain this time, which you didn't try before, so clearly you've evolved. You're the stronger and more sparkly metallic version. You're not to be taken lightly. Ha <laughs> ha, I take you lightly, I take you lightly, ha you hoo. It's occurring to me as I do that, there's an actual taunt button in the game. But sometimes, sometimes if you, if you come up with the taunt yourself, it's more meaningful. It's more meaningful, like lukewarm rice. How'd it get to that temperature, eh? Is there a reason rice would not be that temperature usually? Because, like, you don't refrigerate rice. And you've not always cooked the rice yet. So is it, in reality, is it not cold rice would be weirder? In a lot of ways. I feel like room temperature rice, you don't need to explain. But maybe I'm... Fucking open the door! God! It's like you're tickling a caterpillar in here. Right, it's time to go upstairs and really face the gatekeeper. In I go, come on, through your lovely place. Through your door. Marvellous. And then I fight the doppelganger. Let, now let's see if he truly is imitating our boy. He's... Yeah, it's definitely Dante. We finally fight Dante. As Virgil! In our secret cupboard. Why have you got to, why have you got to turn off the one? Why have you got to turn off the one I like? I'm, I've got to re-figure out all of the all of the time bonuses for this now because I don't. I've got to. Okay. So I will if I just if I just go for it, I will more or less get the right timing. Tonight. Potentially harrowing bonus lasers. Why am I switching weapons? It's predicated on the timing I've got with this one. It all hangs in the why why did you go towards him? I didn't even there's a lock-on function in this game if I wanted that. You've you've been You've been dick whips! 
You've got a whip on your penis and you're really letting the world know. I think you shouldn't. I think you should keep it to yourself and use it as a surprise attack. I think that's the, when it's most effective. No, I'm not a military tactician, have I? How does some of them just turn off on their own sometimes? I'm trying to be normal about it and ask the big fruity questions. Questions about big fruit, right? But nobody lets me. They just turn all the lights off and then I can't see what I'm saying anymore. I can't read the questions off my little notebook. I had to prepare him in advance, alright? Sometimes you do. This is an accessibility nightmare, frankly. You at the you at the fruit conference. I failed to consider or notice. Fight you. Fight you with punchy kicks, leggy leg. Oh no, punchy kicks leggy leg was not fight enough. Not today. You keep doing the, the swipe upward manoeuvre when, like, I'm pointing it toward him. Have you not turned around fully yet? I pressed the lock on button. You do turn around when I don't want, and you don't when I do. This is, this is the kind of rotational disobedience I can't stand in video games. You need, you need to get to the milk shack. Where they keep it. Right. It being the milk, obviously. I'd, I'd, I'd hoped I wouldn't have to explain that to you. You could discern from context. Stop pissing your darkness bullets everywhere. We need the, the point is, I've got to get there and do it. Piss off as well. As well as not doing things with cryogenics experimentation facilities like Marmalade Bay. There's a cryogenics experimentation facility at Marmalade Bay. I don't know if I was supposed to reveal that. Might, might have been a government secret, but I'm, I'm too naughty for prizes to worry about that now. I've gotten so many prizes from all the naughtiness I've done at the government that even they can't stop me right now. Anyway, let's go to hell. This, this... I've, not, I've done very well on all of the stuff that is not the stuff that I didn't... Fucking hell, do I need a break? Right, this is this is the, the home of the big dragon, isn't it? Yeah. The big dragon who makes all the portal minigames. And I've got nothing to offer. Ooh, I... I is it, is it might be... Which one are you? You're, um... Forward. It's quicker. I feel like I've needed that for the whole game. Alright, let's go in. Let's go into the Footballers Association. Ah, oh, there's, a, there's a funny game of chess that I've got to deal with first, isn't there? We do chess, then Footballers. This time do I just go straight for the king? Do I just say do I just say fuck the bonuses? And how many um two out of four. I'm trying to remember how many blue orb fragments are between me and the grimacing priest. Cause like if if there's not another one that I can remember where I get it. After this level, then there's not a lot of point me getting the one for doing all of the bosses in in here. So I'm just I'm just trying to wonder what the best tactic is. Eyeball threes. Maybe the best tactic is eyeball threes. Stop the pawns. Stop the pawns. You yeah, stop Jafar. That is a simple truth, but it's not true of checkers, so make sure you don't get those confused. You've got to stop Jafar separately. I'll be alive. I've got, I've got to kill you, and <laughs> you need to be alive in order to die. It's the cost of crumbs. You need to pay with your life to get the crumbs of bread. Oh yes, I'm very bad. <laughs> 
it's me, Benjamin Bad Deals. I'm here to just give you the short straw. I've ended up killing everyone anyway. I was gonna just go straight and right. Yeah, which is which is why it's difficult. Oh, I don't want to be really shot purple before about. Uh -huh. As long as you're doing this, you're not switching places with castles that I just like. I've got you. They all crumble, look. They all crumble as they appear! Ha ha ha. Right, now we move on to less conventional chess pieces. We don't really know how these move in the game, which is why they were banned. People would just make up the rules and no, no judge could prove them wrong. So, in the end, we thought it best to just remove them from the game entirely. So, the angel pieces, they're worth a lot now if you can find one. If you can find a good condition, even a poor condition, you know, is this worth, worth a lot of... It's of historical interest, isn't it? There's not many in circulation today. Because everything's slowed down and I've, I've split your friend in half. The world went quiet and your mate died. Ha 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 pride. Yes. That's how I get ya. I laugh at your dead friend and then I name one of the seven deadly sins. Right, let's actually look at what the most efficient... Way around the ringer bell is... Cause I've... I've, I've got pleaf. I've got pleaf to believe you with. Plastic beef. Just a really bad idea all round. I've gone in a fucking circle. Right, let's read our fortune. Because without the fortune, right, I can do white, green, and blue. Which means only doing three. I can do. White, green, and blue is probably the, the, the simpler. Isn't it? I'm gonna do green first, because green might honestly be the more gruel. I remember having a fairly easy time with Beowulf this go around. So honestly, this might be where I've gotta go in at full vinegar. I just have to know it's I know you think it's a sword fight, but it's actually a custard competition. You gotta make the best custard. And the bet sometimes the best custard is not war. Only sometimes. Sometimes war custard is a really good recipe. But you can't count on it always. Have I got both of you to give up your swords? They were like, oh man, he's right. War's not custard. I've been such a fool. <laughs> I could come down on your brain at a moment's notice and still you leapt at the centipede. I feel like I've, um... I feel like I've overestimated your ability to hurt me with blades. Or maybe I've just underestimated myself. My ability to not get hurt by blades. Ooh! Yeah, this is one of the few uses of the teleportation that I'll actually engage in. It's such upward and swish. Doesn't it doesn't it remind you of a better time before vinegar went moldy? All the vinegar at once. All the vinegar in the world can't protect you. It expired. Mold developed in the vinegar today. On this day 30 years ago. There's my vinegar history lesson. I hope you appreciate it. Please put some coins into my hand. I can't jump in this world. I'm realising. I'm pressing the jump button. You'll have to take my word for it, because he doesn't even try. He's like, there's no point for Boingy. This is a weird Escher room. If I jump, who fucking knows what's going to happen to me? You try jumping in the Escher room, young man, or oh, I'm your father. He's not. And he would be offended that specifically we thought he was Sparta, because he's... He's like, oh, he's a fucking scum bucket, bucket of fucks, hasn't he? I've got to hurt his children in the future. Ooh! Punching you with yourself again. 
You don't, you don't realise how good I am for hurting your bone tail. You're a little bit of a scorpion, aren't you? Just a slight one. Just a slight scorpion beowulf. You know. You get those sometimes. They're selling in packs of three down at the Lint Factory. They're branching out into things that aren't just Lint. Ugh. Well, it's still not, because part of the reason, it was seen as a controversial decision, although they had to admit, they weren't quite sure what or who they were manufacturing lint for. It seems, they think, the working theory is that they were supposed to be a branch of the Chocolatiers. Of a similar name. And there was just a massive amount of confusion during the setting up that has somehow gone unresolved till this day. Because you'd think Lint itself would be like the chocolatier, not the substance. Just for the sake of clarification, because we know how we got into this mess. Um, what, was the, what was the point? If they're the company that owns this factory and wanted them to make chocolate for a living, you'd think some representative would like, turn up to the premises and be like, uh, what the fuck, guys? What are you getting up to around here making fabric waste? I'm going to kick you, are you ready? I won't do it unless you're ready. You ready? Okay, good. Thank you for being ready. Oh, the turgid toenail titan! He w I I don't want to think about that, actually. That's the wrong blue. I'm pretty sure I want Splurberus. Not just a silly horse. Not for evil. But for good. Here's my friend to fight. This is just going to be red orbs for me, because the end of the level is after this bit. For all intents and purposes, if I get my way in the syrup museum, I'm looking at an unfinished sneaky snuffler on my desk. That is... It, it's been in this same state since the beginning of 2022. And I need to get on with it. I need to just bite the bullet and get on with this bloody thing, but I've just sort of not been doing it for a very long time. I've got a bunch of new stuff to play around with. I've got some mediums to help stop the, the shades from clotting. If, if you follow the hobby, then you then you know. If you don't, it's hilarious to try and guess what could be meant by that. I heard someone drop a large number of glass bottles in the distance. That's what's going on in that. That's my real day-to-day -day life. If you were curious, that's what's that. That's a glimpse behind the curtain for you. Tune in next time where someone will drop something else. They're still doing it. How have they got so much glass? Where are they getting it from? All at once? All at once at that specific distance from me? Is one house just a glass factory? And they've just decided actually we don't need any of it. We're, we're gonna keep manufacturing it. But we're also just gonna throw it away. That's, that's what capitalism's done to us. Supply and demand are completely unconnected these days. It doesn't matter if you don't buy the glass, someone's gonna make the glass at you. They're gonna come to your house. They're gonna fly a plane directly into your house. And they're gonna say glass. And you're gonna say no. And they're gonna say anyway, yes. They should have said yes anyway. They can't even do that bit right. No part of this system works. We can do better. A better world's possible if you just shut down the glass neighborhood once and for all. No, no, come on. I've got to, I've got to defeat a dog, and you're it this time. It's like jury duty. You've got to be the dog I defeat now. You don't, you don't get. I'm cold on the floor. I'm cold. I'm cold mid roll. Cold mid roll. The, the favorite weather forecaster. Everybody, everybody relies on him. Everybody relies on him for his news about clouds. That's what the weather forecast is, if you think about it. But everybody always mocks him for saying it. They say, oh, 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 oh. 
Which is actually really fucking mean, because he has, like, a, a, a trauma response to... Coronation Street? It's not EastEnders, because that one goes do 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 and he's fine with that. He can he can laugh when everybody in the newsroom does that at him. In fact, they do it to cheer him up after the other people have done what I presume is either Coronation Street or Emmerdale, because those are the two ones whose name I remember. So I feel like it's got to be one of those. Because if it was one I didn't know, then I wouldn't have known the theme to it, would I? It's just basic deduction at that point. But, yeah. You've got two sides of the room. He's real contentious. Splits the room in a lot of ways. It's, it's a weird working environment. You basically pick your side. And then you... you rehearse your bit in the a cappella version of the, of the soap opera theme tune that you're gonna sing uh, as a declaration of war um the, the level's over I'm uh might end the video there Sorry, that, 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 that took everything. Particularly because I forgot the man's name halfway through the bit. Um, but I'll, next episode's probably going to be the last one. I, I definitely can't finish it, this video. Which is what I would inevitably be trying to do, but uh, none of this is important. So goodbye, and I'll see you next time for the finale. Presumably. Bye.